All right, today in this tutorial, we're going to uh, go over stretching. Just basic stretching, um, ways to increase flexibility or maintain flexibility and to prevent injury. Before you stretch, I suggest warming up a good 10 to 15 minutes. Do something like a short run or a skipping rope. It's a good way to warm up before you stretch. So when I stretch, I start from my head and I work my way down, all the way down to my ankles. So the first stretch or warm up exercise that I do is for my neck. And all I do is I rotate my head one way for 10 seconds and I rotate it the other way for 10 seconds. At the end of rotating it, I grab my head and I just apply a little pressure pulling it down to the right side with my right hand. I hold it for about 8 seconds and I do it the other way and hold it again for about 8 seconds. After that, I take my chin, I put it on my chest. I don't pull it down with my hands. I just put my chin on my chest and hold it there for about another eight to 10 seconds. After that, I rotate my head again to make sure I loosen my neck for about five seconds each way. After that, I relax my shoulders just rotate them and roll them back. Roll them back for about 10 seconds. And then I roll them forward. Again, roll them forward for about 10 seconds. After I finish that, I put my hand under my elbow and pull it towards my body. I don't pull it really hard. I'm not trying to tear any muscle or any joints or tendons in there. Just enough to stretch the muscle and stretch the joint just enough and hold it. This will help loosen up the rear delts that sometimes get really tense from, from throwing punches and elbows and just from holding your hands up. You want to make sure you keep those muscles loose and flexible so you don't feel tense or you don't get tense while you're training or fighting. Hold it for 10 seconds and then switch to the other side. Remember, don't pull it really hard, just a little bit till you feel a nice little stretch in the rear deltoid. The rear deltoid is a small muscle. You can hurt it pretty easily, so make sure you're careful when you don't hurt yourself. After that, I take both of my hands, I interlock, and I roll my shoulders back. So you get from the side. Take my hands, interlock them, roll my shoulders back. The reason I'm doing this is to stretch my chest. Train Muay Thai and Taekwondo, you do a lot of push-ups. You need to make sure you keep these muscles nice and stretched out. Because you're not a bodybuilder, you're not trying to put on crazy amounts of muscle. You don't want the muscles to be short and really tight and tense. So you want to keep them stretched out so they're long and lean. And you stay fast and flexible. I'll show you again from this way. I take my hands and I interlock them like this, but behind my back. And I roll my shoulders back and stretch the chest up. Hold it for about 10 seconds. And relax. After that, I just throw my arms forward. Each time that I throw my arm forward, I cross one over the other and I alternate each time. So one, two, three, four, five. And I do it back. One, two, three, four, five. The reason I do this is to help get a little blood flow to those muscles that I've just stretched. And it also just makes them feel a little a little better after such a, not an intense stretch, but, but it's, it's kind of an intense stretch to stretch this way. So I like to loosen those muscles back up and get some blood flow. Next, I grab my elbow with my opposite hand, take it over my head, and I bend down the opposite way. So if I grab my right elbow, I bend down to my left side. And just hold it, 10 seconds. And I do the same thing the opposite way. This 
to stretch out your, your rib cage area, which is really important to stretch out. Because I know you probably heard people talk about uh, tearing cartilage and things like that in their rib cages. So this will help stretch that out so you can prevent those injuries from happening. Again, this is to maintain and increase flexibility, but also to prevent injury. Next, I take my right hand and I take it down to my left foot. I touch my left foot. I try, to, I try to twist my waist so I can look up to the ceiling as I touch my left foot. And this will really stretch your core and your hips out. And just hold it for 10 seconds. And do it the opposite way. Left hand to your right foot. Turn and look at the ceiling. Hold it for 10 seconds. After that, bring your feet together. Keep your back nice and taut. Don't let your back round. You don't want your back to round when you, as you touch your toes because this is the next stretch. Keep your back nice and taut. Go down and touch your toes. You should feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings and your lower back a little bit. So keep your back taut. Touch your toes. Hold it for five seconds. Come up, relax, and go back down for another five seconds. And when you become more advanced and you get more used to it and it gets like really easy to where you don't really feel such a good stretch, keep your back taut, grab your hamstrings, and pull yourself down. And you'll get good enough to where you should be able to put your head to your knees. After that, I go to my hips. I, I spread my feet just wider than shoulder width apart. I put my hands on my hips and I just roll my hips one way. I do it each way five times, then I roll the other way five times. After that, I step out. I have my front foot pointing forward and my back foot pointing more to the side. And bend the front leg. You feel a stretch right in your inner hip, your inner thigh. Hold it for about 10 seconds. Keep your back straight, don't bend over. Keep your back straight. Come up and then go the other way. Stretch it and hold it for about 10 seconds. And the next stretch is similar, but it'll stretch your hip flexor. So both feet will be pointing forward now. But the back leg is not straight, it's bent. Just bend the front leg, bend it. You should feel a good stretch in your hip flexor. Hold it, keep your back straight. Don't bend over, keep your back straight. Just hold it 10 seconds and then go the other way. Just hold it 10 seconds. After that, come back up. Keep your feet just wider than shoulder width apart and just roll your hips up. Go the other way for another five seconds. Now at this point, this would be probably the most intense stretch you'll do during this whole stretching course. Come down on all fours. Now when you come down, make sure your feet aren't in. When I say in, I'll show you. Keep your feet out and relax. Don't bring your feet in. Don't bring your feet in. Come out and relax. I want you to relax. Sink down and relax. Sink down and relax and hold the stretch for about 30 seconds. Just relax, relax. If, it, if, if there's pain, and not a lot of pain, but like uncomfortable pain, just try to put your mind someplace else. But if it hurts like really bad, then stop doing that uh, stretch because maybe you're hurting something or you're tearing something. Okay. Back on your feet. Again, feet just wider than shoulder width apart. Just roll your hips out. Five seconds each way. Put your feet together. Bend your knees. Roll your knees. Ten times each way. Ten circles each way. And the other way for another 10 count. The last stretch we'll do will be the splits. Touch the ground. Have your feet on the heels. 
and just sink down as far as you can. Hold it. Just try to hold it for a good 10 to 15 seconds. After 10 to 15 seconds, put one hand behind you. Just sit down. Just sit. For another 15 to 20 seconds. After 15 to 20 seconds, bring your feet together into a butterfly stretch. And just loosen the hips back up. Do this for a good 10 seconds. Get back on your feet. Feet just wider than the shoulder width apart. And roll your hips. Five seconds one way, and five seconds the other way. And that's the way that I stretch before every training session, every fight. The next tutorial will be a, a, a lead straight punch, or in Western boxing and Muay Thai, they call it a jab.